Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Alexandra fragrances. They've been kind enough to send me about seven bottles of their fragrances. I think six of these are original blends and one of them is a clone of Lana Weath alone, all right? And today it's going to be a very casual video. I'm just going to test out this house first impression. I smell some of these first time before, but it's, it's been a few weeks. I already forgot how they smell like, okay? So it's going to be a first impression and yeah, stay tuned. All right, first one, we have Cacao Dreams. And guys, I don't have the notes for these at all. I love smelling stuff blind because, you know, if you look, if you read the notes first, your impression really gets tainted because you're searching around for the notes that you just read about. So, best first impression is without looking at the notes. So here you go, Cacao Dreams. Hmm, okay, I smell like a powdery chocolate, like a really dry powdery chocolate. I would say this is nice. I actually like this one. I don't know if it reminds me of any fragrances. Mm, it smells quite good, like dr like dry powdered chocolate with a hint of spices, I guess. I think my nose might be a little wrong here, but there's a hint of something like spicy in it, dry spices. It smells good, pretty good. Cacao Dreams. If I were to rate this one in a scale of one to 10, from first impression, I would say that this is I'll give this a solid 7.5. 7.5 for Cacao Dreams. Next one, let's go with this one. This is Egyptian King. Now this one to me has vibes of Nasamato's Pardon. Like, imagine Nasamato Pardon, but lighter. Now Nasamato Pardon has a, like, a dark chocolate plus oud kind of vibe. This has a similar vibe to that. I'm not saying they're exactly the same. It has a similar vibe to it, but a lot lighter. And to me, this one, I love Nasumato, so I kind of like this one as well, but I don't know. Every like I smell this and I think of Nasumato's Pardon. Like, I, I always think that Nas the Pardon is way better than this. So to me, I don't know, I don't want to give this a high rating just due to the fact that I know that there's a better fragrance. But I don't know, on its own, this is pretty good. On its own, on its own, I would give it a solid 6.5, all right? It's pretty good, it's not the best, I feel like it could be better it could be more potent but you know that's just first impression 6.5 for egyptian kings next one we have tangier cafe okay. this one i don't like so much because just my personal taste i don't like any notes that resembles hay or anything grassy kind of smell not at all and this one to me comes off a little bit of a hay note and i don't know I, i'm not into hay i don't i don't really like it yeah, yeah, it's just a really dry kind of like grassy woody. No, not not my favorite. Not my favorite. Moving on, we have Santel's Kiss. And guys, the reason I'm not I didn't rate Tangier Cafe is because I don't think it's fair to rate something that I completely don't like because you know that's just my personal taste. I really just dislike it. If I was to rate it, I'd give it a like a one or a two based on my personal taste. But I don't think that's fair to the fragrance. If you like hay notes, you might think it's good. So yeah, I'll only rate the one that I kind of enjoy, all right? Just to keep it fair. This one, Santal's Kiss. So I'm assuming from the name, it's going to have some sandalwood in it. Yep, there's some sandalwood, but it's a, it's a strange sandalwood. Like, um, to my nose, it smells like a sandalwood mixed vetiver but in a very weird way. Because sandalwood to me is a very smooth, creamy wood note. But in this one, it's, it comes off a bit earthy. I think it's the vetiver. I don't even know if there's vetiver in here, but it's mi the sandalwood is mixed with something earthy. And um, I don't think it's mixed well. I don't think this works. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna pass on this one. This one gets a pass for me. I don't, I, I don't like it. It's, it's too earthy. It's, I don't know, and I seriously don't know when that when you would put this on. That's one main thing too, is like when would someone wear this? It's my main problem with this fragrance. So Santal's Kiss, eh, pass. Next one, let's go with the last big bottle. We have Ombre Noir. Oh, this one is the Lana Weed clone. Man. Alright. In terms of it being a Lana Weed clone, I'm actually wearing Lana Weed right now. All right, so I must say, in terms of it being a Lion and Wheat clone, this is a pretty damn good clone. The cardamom is like, extremely sweet. It's really, really good and potent. Ah, it smells fantastic. I actually really like this one. 
All right, so if you guys are looking for a line of weed clone that's really, really good, like a really good substitute, I wouldn't say it's 100%, but if you're looking for a really, really good substitute with a really nice spicy sweet cardamom, this is really good. Like I highly recommend this. In terms of a score, I can easily give this fragrance a nine or even a 9.5 because of how amazing I like, how amazing I feel right now smelling it. Wow, Ombre Noir, Lana Week clone, very, very, very good. All right, we're down to our last two. Which one should we go for first? Let's go for this one first. We have Omerta. Omerta, let's go, let's go. Oh, instantly it has a Coke vibe, like a, a, a syrupy sweet Coke vibe. This is like the first fragrance that comes to mind smelling this is Roja Dove's Enigma or Creation E, but this is a lot less syrupy, a lot less thick. I feel like it's a more mass appealing version of Creation E or, you know, or Enigma, whatever you choose to call it. Yeah, we have a syr syrupy, cokey vibe. I think it would be really good in a club or even a formal setting. Depends on how it performs, the club might be just a really awesome place or the worst place for it. But off of first impression so far, it's actually really, really nice. I like Creation E for the smell, not, not the price, but I like Creation E for the smell, but I always find it a little bit harder to wear. But this one, this one is a much easier to wear version of Creation E, like more mass appealing to me, easier to pull off and smells pretty good. Not much to say about it. I do like it. So I'm going to give it a score now and that score will be eight. I'm going to give it an eight. All right guys, we're down to the last one. I saved the best for last, I think, because this one is called Alexandria Signature. So this is the fragrance they chose to be their flagship or their signature scent from the brand, all right? So I had to save this one for last. Let's see. This one has a biscuity kind of feel, like a, like a graham cracker or biscuity kind of feel. Smells good, like I like this fragrance. It reminds me of something, but I really can't, like, can't think of the fragrance off the top of my head right now. But it does kind of remind me of something. It's gourmandy, biscuity, gourmandy, a little bit creamy. It smells really good. I just, I just, I'm just frustrated with myself because I can't remember what fragrance it reminds me of. But it's really good. I think out of all the, out of all of them, besides the Lana Week clone, I think Lana Week clone is my favorite out of all the bunch here. Besides all of them, I feel like Alexandria, Fra Alexandria Signature is the best one. Now the Closest comparison to this within the ones that I've tried is the one called Cacao Dreams. Both of these have a gourmandish vibe, but if I were to pick one, I would pick Alexandria Signature over this, all right? Because this one, although Cacao Dream smells quite good, it's a little bit too powdery, like too chocolatey powdery. It's harder to wear, it's harder to pull off. It's more of like a, um, a novelty kind of scent. But with this one, it's gourmandy, it's delicious, but it's also quite wearable as well. So if you're gonna go with the gourmand from the ones that I've tried out, go for Alexandra's signature, all right? Pretty good scent. I'm gonna give this a nine as well, alongside the Lana Weed clone. Yep, last fragrance, Alexandra's signature, a nine out of 10, all right? So overall thought of this house, there are some, so far from the seven that I've tried, there are some good ones, there are some questionable ones, and I'm sure this is gonna be the case with um, a lot of clone houses out there is that you're gonna find something that's really good or you're gonna find something that's really bad, it really depends on your taste. And these fragrances, although they are original blends, I know, I've heard that, you know, they're just blends of different fragrances, all right? So let's say that one original blend is like a mixture of two or three other different fragrances, all right? It's not really a uh, an original creation. It's more of like, like the name suggested, original blend. So it just took two fragrances or three and blend them together, all right? So it would, all these original blends will remind you of some fragrances that you smelled in the past just with a little bit of a difference, all right? Imagine layering, but in the same bottle. That's, that's original creation from these clone houses are, in my personal opinion anyway. So guys, overall thoughts, some good fragrances, some questionable fragrances, really test out these if you can. I know that uh, Alexandra, I think, offers sample size as well, which is great. And their prices to me is very affordable, which I also like as well. For a clone house, that should not be expensive and their pricing is perfect. So guys, with that said, thank you so much for watching. Thank you again, Alexandria, for sending me these and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Peace out guys and bye.